Welcome to the video from reducedlifestyle.com. At last, we have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 15002. So we've built, we've gone through the 1500 build number barrier, and this has just been released for Windows Insiders on the Fast Ring. So this is our first look at our first build of 2017. A few uh, big changes to uh, Microsoft Edge, the browser in this build, which we'll be taking a look at, and a couple of new features as well. So let's start off with Microsoft Edge. So, right, so the first new thing is this set aside option here. So we've got there, set these tabs aside. So I've got these four tabs open, I set them aside, and then I can go and do something else and uh, go into browsing. And then here, if I click on there, you can see these tabs that I've set aside for later. And I can restore them if I want to, and go back. And that brings those back up. So it's a way of sort of putting them away to one side and bringing them back later, which I think is a rather neat idea. And there's another little button there we've got, which is tab previews. Uh, so you can have a look at these tabs and switch between tabs, which I quite like actually, these tab previews. And then you can collapse that as well. So they're definitely new. That's uh, a, a nice addition to Microsoft Edge. I think they're these little previews. You can open and close those like that. I think that's a that's a good idea. I like to be able to set them aside. I think. Oh, I want to come back to this one, um, so I can set them aside, and uh, which I can get rid of the bar as well. And then I can go back, and there they are. And I can restore just that one, or I could restore them restore them all. So a nice little feature, I really do like that. Something else this is new, we've got jump lists in Microsoft Edge. So you can right click on Microsoft Edge down here in the taskbar and, and you've got a new and private window and new window. Uh, which is good to see these new uh, these extra commands in there. It's always handy to have this extra stuff in there. Uh, so they've changed the underlying code as well. So Microsoft say look out for any um, issues you have with the with the opening and closing tabs, but so far I like that. Uh, they've done so with Flash as well, so um, Edge will now block untrusted Flash content by default unless you uh, deliberately choose to play it. So I think that's that's quite a good idea. Uh, it now supports web payments, the web payment request API. Um, there's a preview, but um, it's not currently enabled in this, so that's for doing sort of uh, payments through the browser. Something else we've got now is over in the start menu is uh, folders. So what you can do now, uh, you can have folders. So let's do that. And Microsoft say drag tile one tile onto the other. Easy said than done. Oh, there we go. We put a little folder there, and I could put uh, another app in there as well. Just like this is just like the phone, Windows Phone, isn't it? A Windows 10 mobile and phone. So I've got a folder, and I can group things together in that, and put social media ones in, whatever, and collapse that like that. Ah, that's rather nice. That I like that. Uh, the share experience has been changed, so let's have a look. I'm going to take this page. Ah, there we go. This is a different, definitely a different look. Uh, we're sharing. This should bring you uh, the share applications, uh, which it hasn't done. Uh, let me see if I can try it again. Okay, I can't share that either. So it's not working for me. Um, I'll try restarting it and see if it does it, but it should bring up the uh, icons like mail, Cortana reminder, and so on. Might just let the old share uh, icon what it does. In fact, it just seems to crash Internet Explorer. So I'll, I'll give it a retry and a restart and try that. Okay, uh, a couple of other things while well, this is trying to sort out Internet Explorer. Um, <laughs> sort out Explorer again. You can now capture the. Uh, screen you can wi use Windows Shift S and it catches a region of the screen to the clipboard paste it into OneNote or any other app. Uh, there's improved DPI support which uh, for um, for working with large screens, high DPI screens. One of the things Microsoft says that um, apps such as Groove and Store should resize better so let's take a quick look. 
Okay, so does this look smoother when we resize it? Uh, I guess it does a little bit. It is a bit different. It sort of flows as you, as you finish doing it. I can't say a huge amount. Of, that's a huge amount of difference, but there you go. Um, a couple of th other things to finish it off. There's improved VPN access. Um, so I haven't got VPN set up on it actually. But uh, when you go in and you've got a VPN set up, there it's a lot easier to uh, to access that. And there's a couple of changes to Windows Ink as well. Uh, let's just go put a sketch pad, and you can change the colours on these now. I think, and these now reflect the colours, which I suppose makes sense. A couple other things, you've got improved narrator support, including for the uh, pre-build environment, which is quite good. Even Braille support's mentioned as coming to Windows 10, which I think is really good as well. Um, and improved high contrast modes for UWP apps as well. Windows Defender has been improved, and uh, now as an option to run quick, advanced or full scans. Windows Defender, but the new version of Windows Defender. And uh, see, it's now a modern app, trusted app, and uh, you've now got these extra the scan modes in there. There's some changes to the settings mode. Let's have a look. So, if we go into system settings, um, they've taken the apps one out, I think, and put them into a separate area. There we go. We've got a separate area for apps as well. So there's a few tweaks and they've got some extra notification in there. Um, they've updated the Bluetooth uh, connection settings as well. On there, so this is that new Bluetooth screen. It looks a bit cleaner and I think it's a bit easier to navigate around. Um, Windows can now have lower blue light uh, at night. So if you go to system setting display, which we have, we can have blue light. Uh, lower blue light automatically so I've switched that on now so what that should do um, it will reduce the amount of blue light when you're using it in the evening which should theoretically help sleep there you can see it's it's probably I'm not sure the camera picks it up but that's kind of gone sort of a more of a yellowy colour as you know, so it's reduced the blue and so uh, designed to uh, reduce the amount of uh, the, reduce the colour temperature to make it easier for your eyes to adjust to it at night time it's supposedly better for health as well um, and Windows personalization supports recent colours as well. The um, one thing you won't be, I won't want to show you, and uh, hopefully we won't see, is the blue screen of death is now um, green. So it's a green screen of death. That's just while we're in the sort of uh, um, in the inside of build mode. So it's a way of notifying. You know, you can tell it's a different. You know, if you're on the inside of build, it goes green. Otherwise, it's just going back to blue. If you're not on the inside of build, then the creator update, when it's eventually released, will be blue as well. Final things to show you, updates has been slightly changed, so a nice new little icon on there showing it's all up to date. I'll oh, let that check for updates. And um, there's some other behind the scenes settings which I'll include in a link within the show notes. So, what about... Um, any known issues. There are a couple of known issues. Going to the battery page will crash. You've seen the, the issue I have with sharing. There's a couple of touchpad missings. There's uh, control C doesn't work in the command prompt. There's a few other uh, changes. Netflix may have a black um, screen rather than expected video. So you've got to use the browser version if you get that problem. Um, I'll include a full link to these in the um, along with the videos because quite a lot of those. But they're the, they're the standard standout ones. So that's the main difference. Really we're talking Microsoft Edge is, is really a big change. A lot of polish has been added to the apps to the apps because of the length of time probably guess than since this was first since we last had a build at yeah, sort of mid December. So thanks for watching this one. I'll include the notes with, along with it and uh, hopefully more builds soon.